Hello everyone, how's it going there? Sheffield Ram here, bringing you back a brand new video here on the channel. Today's match day vlog is Derby County versus Middlesbrough at Pride Park. But as always guys, before I start this video, please, 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 make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, click that little bell icon on the bottom right and corner of your screen to be notified when I upload a brand new video. If you're watching on Facebook and you'd like to follow me on YouTube, my uh, YouTube name is Niall Biggs, the Sheffield Ram, and vice versa. If you're watching on YouTube and want to follow me on Facebook, my Facebook Page name is Niall Biggs, actor, vlogger, and gamer. Whew. Right, <laughs> on to today's video, guys. So, Dobby County, as you know, come back off a 2 uh, 0 loss at the KCOM on Saturday when Jared Bowen scored two goals and absolutely wrecked us when we should have really wrapped the game up in the first half. Um, but it was a, uh, in, in terms of the game, it was like, it wasn't the best performance from us. Well, let's be quite honest. When, apart from the Huddersfield game, whenever we actually had a game that's like one sided for us, it, it wasn't. It wasn't really. Um, and you know, we, we were made to pay for not putting our chances away. You know what I mean? We had like two easy close range shots, which should really have been put in the back of their net, but somehow didn't. Um, and then when we finally do get to put the ball in the back of the net, it gets called off. I'm not too sure if it was for handball or if it was for a, a foul on the defender. I'm, I'm still still quite baffled about that one. But what can you do? Uh, what can you do? Um, it was unfair, I, I believe. I believe it was an unfair reason to, you know, not give us a goal. Because it was, it was a really well-worked goal. You know, he whips it in from the... Uh, from the right flank and Tom Lawrence beats his man and heads it into the back of the net. If that was the defender that did that, if it was the defender that like went up for the header and Tom Lawrence were fouled, guaranteed that defender would have given away a penalty. But for some reason, because Tom Lawrence because Tom Lawrence slept into him and, and you know, the defender got taken out, it, it wasn't given as a goal. So I don't, I just don't understand like why that wasn't given. So it was quite unfair in the sense of what, you know, in terms of refereeing. I, I believe we got two Stonewall penalties turned down as well, which I don't, I don't believe I got on camera. I can't think. Um, but yeah, it, was, it wasn't the best game. We should have really wrapped it up, but because we didn't, you know, we, got, we paid for our mistakes. Um, Borough as well, um, they're not really in a good position. I believe they... Drew their last match. I think it was nil nil against Swansea. I think I'm not. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure on that one. But I know they drew nil nil. I think in that game, all on one. They definitely drew anyway. Um, and I can't be asked to be looking. Can't be asked to be looking at results. So they, def they definitely drew that. Um, but they're coming on into this game uh, third from bottom. So they're got very low morale at the moment, they're not looking too great and from what I'm hearing from loads of people, Borough are playing very similar football to Derby, you know, we're trying to play out, they're, they're trying to play out from the back, not we are, but well, similar style, so yeah, they, you know, they want to play out from the back as well, they're, you know, trying to build uh, passing football, but it's, uh, you know, they get caught out from crosses, they get caught out from set pieces, from corners. And that's, you know, that's been our downfall this season and that's been Borough's downfall this season. So, to be honest, this game can go either way. This game could either end nil-nil or this game could end, like, in goal fest. Um, but judging off, judging off... Um, both head to heads and uh, what do you call it? Just off head to heads and uh, current league positions. That's it. So I'm, I'm struggling to get the words out today, guys. <laughs> Just on those two factors, though. Anyway, um, my guess, my prediction for today is going to be. I'll say Derby. Derby three, Borough two. I'm going to go for a 3-2 Derby win today. Um, goal scorers, I'll say... 
I all own goal from Borough. Martin with one and Lawrence with one. And that's what I'm going to go for my prediction. And for Borough, I'll probably say uh, a Sombolonga and Hugo to score for them. So, yeah, that's my that's my pretty much prediction, guys, anyway. And that's sort of like my little uh, view of the last game. So, yeah. Without further ado, guys, I will see you guys at Pride Park Stadium. Peace. I can't forget the day we met. Your eyes so blue, me pressing through. I can't forget the day we met. Your smile so bright, it made me small. I love is like a summer's day, hot sun and less in a magic way. Whenever I see you, all I can think is my summer love. Been waiting for you, my love. My summer love. Been waiting for you, my love. I can't forget the day we met. You look so fly in your red corvette. Your hair, your look, your everything. When I see it all, I knew that you were mine. I'm in love with your hair, your lips, your silhouette in the moonlight shine. With my love, you won't ever be alone. My summer love, been waiting for you, my love. Completely a fool. Jack, still yours? Go 
Gol. Clean strike, but I mean, not, not the best goal in the world, but you know, it's not. I don't think it really matters at this moment in time. This moment in time, we need to get the second goal and just put this game to bed and out of Borough's reach. We've been the better side. Borough have worked really off since we scored that goal. Their heads have dropped. Borough also got sent down to 10 men. I'm not sure who it was who got sent off either after having a walk at that. Um, but yeah, we definitely didn't have a side in this, in this game. Um, yeah, but we just really look sort of out of shape. Like, we just look a, we look a shell of a team that they normally come to Pride Park with. They normally come to Pride Park quite defensive, really solid at the back. They sort of know how to grind out games. I mean, they've, been, they've not been doing terrible defensively, but, you know, you know uh, we're not really taking that many chances um, not putting them away but our back line is playing really well as well I'd say it's uh, you, you know Matt Clark is getting these clearances out Davis is like defending like his life depends on it and that's what we need to see from our defenders it's, it's a good defensive display attacking display Bogle's getting forward Malone's getting forward Lawrence is getting forward Holmes is we've got a very good attack but it's building football it's not counter attacking football we are having some counter attacking chances you know again balls playing over the top for Mario it's got good pace but their defence is just holding him up um, I think you've got those on offside call as well for uh, on chat Mario but, but so far we are playing we are playing some good football we are the better side in this moment and, um, and yeah we are looking we're, look, we're looking like we're going to probably win this but it's still not 45 minutes ago anything can happen this game can still turn on its head so we will see in the second half guys DCFC good team for me go on Oh. Does 
Swedish Dodd County, two Middlesbrough Hill, two goals from Tom Lawrence, finished Middlesbrough off in the second half. Um, yeah, that was probably like the best ending that we've seen this season. We were in control from pretty much, I'd say, third minutes of last, because Borough like, pretty much had a good couple of chances, like first opening half. So, yeah, it's um, definitely probably like the best home performance we've seen this season. It was a uh, it was convincing, but it really didn't look like they were going to break us down today. They were just so poor. They were poor. We were, we were defending so well today, and that's what we like to see. That's what we need to see more of. Um, it's nice to see, you know, South standing full voice again. And yeah, it was, it was a really good, entertaining game to watch today. Um, you've got to feel for Borough fans, though. It's, it's terrible times. Um, terrible times in their digs, but then again. I don't really feel sorry for him because the owner, Steve Gibson, is a grassing twat. So I do have sympathy for him and I don't at the same time. So. I just could see some Randy fans behind me. Uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like I was saying, it was. You know, convincing win, and right, we need to see more of that. It'd be nice to see more of that. Um, so, guys, yeah, and today, so well, thank you all for watching. Okay, guys, the next home vlog is going to be at Press against Preston on the 23rd. So, got a few weeks break. But next week, it's the big one for the Rams. It's Nottingham Forest away. I won't be there, unfortunately. I couldn't get a ticket. But you know what? Hopefully, we're going to be bringing three points home back to the black and white half of the East Midlands. So as always guys, take care and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.